Okay, number five. This time we're going to write the standard equation of a circle, but we have the diameter given to us. The standard equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals our radius squared, not our diameter squared. So we just need to calculate our radius in this problem. The radius is always half of the diameter. So the radius in this case would be 9. The center is at h comma k. So to substitute the values into the equation, we have x minus 0 squared plus y minus k squared, which is 0. And that equals our radius squared. So we have x minus 0, which is just x, and we're going to square it. y minus 0 is just y, and we're going to square it. And that equals 9 squared, which is 81. So this is the standard equation of our circle with a center at 0, 0 and a diameter of 18. All right, I'd like for you to pause the video and try number 6 on your own to see if you get what I get. And we should have gotten x plus 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared, and that equals 2. Because remember, you're going to square the radius, and the square root of a number squared undoes the square root or undoes the square root, so this becomes a positive 2. Okay, so for number 5 we're going to work backwards. This time we're going to determine what the center of the circle is and then what the radius is using the equation of a circle backwards. So the equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, and that equals our radius squared. So as you can see, that the minus and the minus line up here, and the 3 has to be an h. So our h value is 3. We already have y minus, y minus, it's y minus our k value. So 2 must be our k value. And our radius squared is 16. Our radius squared is 16. So that means in order to determine the radius, we're going to take the square root of 16 to get 4. So we have figured out that the center is h comma k. In this case, h is 3 and k is 2. Our radius is 4, so we're going to graph this equation first by starting with our center, which is 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, up 1, 2 and our radius, which is 4. So the easiest way to find the circle itself and to graph the circle is to draw a radius of 4 going horizontally both ways and vertically both ways from the center. So from this center point, I'm going to go over 4 to make the radius. 1, 2, 3, 4. And from the center again, I'm going to go to the left 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. From the center, I'm going to go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And from the center, I'm going to go down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then at this point, you can try to freehand it. Or if you'd like to use a compass, which would be much prettier, you can draw the circle. All right, I'd like for you to try number 6, determine the center and the radius of the circle. Pause the video and see if you get what I get. OK, and your radius is going to be 1. Your center will be at 2, 0. And you will have from 2, 0, you would go over 1, up 1, left 1, and down 1. If you didn't get this and you don't understand why, please raise your hand. All right, number 7, you're going to have to work backwards on this one again. It says 5, 0 and negative 5, 0 are two points on the diameter. So what that is saying is that at 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and negative 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this way, saying that this is the diameter of the circle. So we actually, in order to find out where, where the midpoint is, we would use the midpoint formula. Now in this case, we can pretty much see with where the midpoint of the diameter is because we went to the right 5 and we went to the left 5. So clearly, the midpoint is 0, 0 but we're going to use the midpoint formula just to make sure we remember how to use it. 
it's going to be x plus x divided by 2 and y plus y divided by 2. So we have 5 plus a negative 5 divided by 2 and 0 plus 0 oops, divided by 2. 5 plus a negative 5 gives me 0 divided by 2 and 0 plus 0 gives me 0 divided by 2. So I have an origin or a center at 0, 0. So now that's the center of my circle and the radius is clearly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So to actually graph the circle I just need to talk about or figure out my vertical distance and my um, vertical distance down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now like I said you can freehand it if you want or you can get a compass and draw the circle in. Okay, I'd like for you to try number eight on your own. We want to figure out what the radius is, the x value for the center point, and the y value for the center point. Pause the video and see if you get what I get. Okay, so we should have gotten a radius of five. Our h value was negative four, that means the x value, and our y value was five. So that's our center point at negative four, five. Okay, 9 through 11, I'd like for you to try on your own. We're going to match the equation with its graph. So for each problem, we need to figure out what is the radius, what is our h comma k, and then we can graph it on one of these graphs and to see which one it matches with. Pause the video and see your answers. Okay, number 9 is b. The graph is b with a center at 0, 0, a radius of 2. Number 10 is graph C with a center at negative 3, 0, and a radius of 1. And number 11 is graph A with a radius of 3 at, at 1, negative 1.